gets very humorous at that point. You watch yourself going through the actions and comment on it as it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I was in India. <clears throat> Rode a rickshaw, and the guy really just wanted to rip me off. I mean, it was bad. And I'm watching myself yelling at this guy, and then at the same time, watching yourself yelling at this guy you're in the back of the mind going now why are you yelling it's not such a big deal it's like you know <laughs> so at that point you start feeling what am I schizophrenic what's going on because <laughs> you're doing an action commenting on the action and viewing it all at the same time <laughs> then you begin to see just how asinine a lot of this stuff has been and knee-jerk reactionary stuff that comes up. <laughs> and so you're in witness state for a time. Then you start losing body consciousness. You'll be in your body and then all of a sudden out of the body and trying to walk and watching this thing flailing along. <laughs> Every time I stepped on the bridge in Rishikesh to go across the Ganges, I'd lose body consciousness. It's trying to get this body to move along, and you're kind of like outside going, okay, okay well, this is... <laughs> <laughs> and then you go into the mode of just feeling like this bubble of consciousness just kind of floating along, you know? But there's still a persona although it seems very vast, because at that point, then you start going oneness, you know, and everything's very expanded, and you feel love for everyone, and I see God within everyone, and I am God, and they're all God, and it's all wonderful. Well, still persona. <laughs> it's very expanded, it's very wonderful. A lot of very high bliss states. <laughs> so you're floating along. Life is wonderful all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still some persona there, still some driving, some driving thing. But yeah, oneness, you're in love with the world, in love with everyone, you know, that's the hallmarks of it. But there's something beyond that. Because it's still that doership of wanting to give and serve and, you know, all of these other things that come up. The Messiah complex is great in oneness. <laughs> A lot of stories still in oneness. But one has a great time there. <laughs> <laughs> But eventually that last barrier comes up and one surrenders into that death before death and it all blows out. And what simply remains is Brahman. And everything you thought you knew is blown out. Nirvana means blown out, <laughs> and it truly is blown. And it's as if one awakened from a dream. And then's the advantage at that point to read the non-dual texts. Because what happened here was when that happened, I immediately wrote to my guru. And he said, are you convinced of what you're saying? I'm not convinced because to be convinced there has to be doubt and in this there can be no doubt. <laughs> And he said, well, what you're saying is the Ashtavakra Gita. I said, what's that? <laughs> what's an Ashtavakra Gita? 
I had no idea. Non-dual texts. And so he told me. And so I went down and purchased the Ashtabhakra Gita and the Vivek Chudamani. And it was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> There's no need to try to figure it out because that's the consciousness. It's in place. And it's like a diary almost when you're going, yes, yes, that's it, that's it. So after realization, when it all blows out, is the time to read the non-dual texts. And they only help to sustain and to pull out any other root that may be present that could reroute. Because after realization, at first the mind wants to try to arise again to try to figure it out. This is not the time you want the mind to arise. You want to pull it out by the roots. So that's the time to read the non-dual texts. So that mind is not trying to figure out what just happened so it can relax. You don't water, want to water the peephole tree again so it sprouts. You want to pull it out by the roots. which the Vivek Chudamani is very clear on these aspects. So just because one has an experience of realization, there's still more to do. There still can be seeds there that it can reroute. So we want to pull those roots out so there's nothing left to reroute, so it doesn't come and go, so that it becomes steady. You don't want just a nirvikalpa experience. And then you come out of it and mind starts up where it left off. That's of no value. Well, you could talk about it. You could fool others for a time, but you're still in suffering. <laughs> What one wants is a nirvikalpa sahaj, samadhi, which is ongoing. Sahaj is effortless. There's no effort to try to maintain non-duality. It simply is the reality of existence and that consciousness. So that's the path. or comments? If not, then we'll go ahead and have some meditation. A few moments of quietude. <coughs> 